Hello and welcome back. It's Adriana here and today I'm playing with the Couture Creations Street Smart collection using alcohol inks to create my backgrounds. I'm revisiting this fabulous mixed media product and I'm going to show you exactly how I created the backgrounds of my cards then adding the 3D decoupage sheets from the Street Smart collection from Couture Creations. They're quick and easy and I had fun creating them and I'm sure I'd have inspired you to create with these wonderful products. So let's get started. I'm going to show you exactly how I created my cards, backgrounds, and I've used the uh, Couture Creations alcohol inks. I purchased a while ago some card playing cards from a op shop. These are quite large. These are really large. They're about 8 centimeters by 12 centimeters so a little bit larger than your normal playing cards I'm going to use them as my backdrop but they've already got a protective coat on them but I don't want to see too much of the clubs and diamonds on the actual cards so I'm just placing a little bit of gesso a coat of gesso on, on each of front of these cards so that will give a great surface for my alcohol inks to play with on the top of it and also won't absorb in, in, into the to the cardstock. I'm using the, the decoupage sheets from the Street Smarts collection from Couture Creations as the added feature with these cards. So with the alcohol inks, did you know there's over a hundred different colors? So have a look on the website. I have a link to all the colors. I'm using some of the pearlized ones and some of the normal ones and some of the metallic ones as well. So I'm going to show you how gorgeous they are and how easy it is. All you need is some blending solution, which is the Couture Creations blending solution bottle. It comes in two sizes. You need the blower to blow away and arrange the alcohol ink so they float into each other. It's cool and it's fun and it's a great way of experimenting and just having fun. And that's the best thing about these the colors blend into each other. They just create really wonderful and each each one will be always unique. So here I've got a couple of pearlized ones and I have the colors all listed below in my description of this video if you want to source that out. But like I said, there's over a hundred different colors of alcohol inks to choose from, from glitter ones, there's golden glitter, there's a pearlized, the metallic uh, glitter ones they're all unique and all different in different ways so here are my cards I've used, also used a brush to sprinkle some of the silver pearl on top of some of them just to give a little bit more uh, texture to the card now these are the same colors that I use so you can see the difference on how vibrant these ones are these are your normal alcohol inks that are from Couture Creations and the one that I did first off that's more pearlized so you can see the difference the pearlized is a bit more softer color and the normal alcohol inks are as bright as any other alcohol inks so once I've created these backgrounds I'm going to let them dry and then I'm also going to add some texture paste now to clean this when I'm using my alcohol inks, I always use my glass media mat. This is a great um, surface to work on because it's really clean and easy to use. So this is also available from Couture Creations, a glass me mixed media mat. So I'm just adding some texture paste through a stencil. So now I'm using the Stays in Place alcohol ink pad. I'm using the color Chocolate Sprinkles. I thought that was quite nice with these colors of alcohol ink uh, backgrounds. Now again, I do have a video on how to use these special ink pads, but it does come with the re-inker. You just apply, you shake up the bottle because it's got a pearlized sheen to these inks. You just shake up the bottle, apply a little bit to the one edge of that ink pad and just use the spatula that is included in it this little plastic little tab is included in the packaging of one of these stays in place ink pads it is a permanent ink pad permanent color it goes on most surfaces as like plastic shiny smooth absorbent paper any type of surfaces it's quite good on acetate great for mixed media and good for any other surfaces that require a permanent color. It's got a pearlized sheen to it and it's really quick and easy to use. 
I've been using these quite a bit and it's almost the equivalent of a stays in place, stays on, like it stays on ink. So I just also did some script stamping on there. To clean these stamps, you just use the Couture Creations stamp cleaner. You just get a baby wipe, you apply a little bit or spray a little bit onto that little cloth and then you just use that over your stamp and that will clean off any ink residue and I recommend doing that as soon as you finish playing with your stamp and ink pad. The best thing about these reinkers, you can buy them separately and also they they last a long time. I've had these for a few years and I've been using these regularly. So that's the alcohol ink stays in place ink pad. So now once I've done all the stamping on all of my little backgrounds, that will be all I'm going to use on my little background. So I've created some really wonderful backgrounds using alcohol ink and some texture paste and also some stamping with the stays in place ink pads. So now I'm using the 3D push out sheets from the Street Smarts collection. There are three unique pages. This one here I'm playing with this one here that has the motorbike, the bicycle and the cricket player. They're really easy to use. They already are sort of half cut, die cut out. You just All you have to do is just push them out. So a couple of tools to help you create these 3D dimensional images and helps them make them look really lifelike is you actually need a picking tool to pick out the little pieces that might have to come out. Also you you need a couple other tools and I'll show you exactly which tools you need. These will help you create your images to look a little bit lifelike and also give you dimension to the way your your images look on your cards. So they're all numbered and you normally have about four different layers sometimes three and sometimes five but each one of these layer on top of each other so I'm just going to work with this Cricut player first. One tool that would help you with all this is this crafter stamping and pricking tool. It's a great sort of spongy foam that's great for stamping on but also I want to show you turn it around the reverse side and it's a great sort of surface to use to create sort of roundness to your images. Using these tools, these are a scoring and modeling tool set. You get four in the pack and each one's got a different size knob on it. So you get actually four different or eight different knobs. And using one of them, I'm using the smaller one out of the all four, I'm just rubbing on the back side of these images to curl the paper around. Now these are great if you're doing flowers. If you want to use paper and you've got die set that cuts out all the petals of your flowers and leaves, these are great to use to give you dimension on your images. Now using double-sided foam tape, I'm using the really thin score, little ring thin foam tape. I'll have the item number listed below in my description, I'm just placing each layer on top of the, what, the first image. So you have your first image, you add on your second image, and then it just grabs on layers and layers. So it gives you 3D image effect. And especially using the modeling tool instrument to give it roundness to your, to your images. They look a bit different than just laying them on top of each other. Try to use a foam that's quite not as thick because I find that they, the thick, too thick looks really unrealistic. So that's the cards that I used my, the backgrounds and then I've added the images on top from the Street Smart collection. These are all available from Couture Creations. If you have any questions, please give me a little question down below. If you like this video, please give a big like. If you like to subscribe to my video, please subscribe in the button below at the end of this video. If you'd like to see more products from Couture Creations, visit couturecreations.com.au. Thanks for joining with me today. I hope you like my video. I'll see you around soon. Bye for now.